The future, and a sustainable future, is often framed in terms of problems and challenges that seem to be disconnected. Climate change, or energy, or global poverty. When you think about it, these are all problems that, and opportunities uh, that involve human decisions. Decision Theater is a, a research and application center. It has 270 degrees of screen space. It's connected to the High Performance Computing Center. We bring the decision makers who are key in, in, uh, in making actual policy uh, together with the experts in the area and develop support tools and new ways of thinking uh, that really leverage this vast amount of information that we have out there. Uh, to help support uh, much better decisions for a sustainable future. We're building models that can work on the fly. So we're, we're building models that usually recalculate and reconfigure these decision processes because we want decision makers to focus on a problem and we want to, to give them the ability to work through scenarios without waiting for weeks. We're able to ask what if questions uh, and we're able to ask ourselves the fundamental question, are we headed towards where we want to go? The challenge was, was that uh, the city was locked in a debate over what their city, what the, what the city should look like in the future. And the big challenge was, what should be the height limits for the buildings? Their equipment helped us get a bird's eye view of the, of the the whole picture, being able to be in an environment that showed different heights worked pretty well. We built a model of the city uh, and we put in the height planes at different heights that could come on. And whereas the architects were, they could see it on paper, the city council couldn't. But when the city council was able to come in, put on three-dimensional glasses in this case, and literally view their city and where the different heights would be, uh, two sessions of about four hours broke the gridlock, they made their decisions. There are many visualization centers around the world. On the other hand, there aren't any that are focused on decision making for a sustainable future. Uh, there aren't any that bridge the idea of bringing together people from public policy, people from government, people from business, people from the community, together with this complex information. Imagine if you were a creature that could sense other places on the planet. All of a sudden, which car you pick to drive that might affect somebody's climate in Africa would matter. So yes, we're building the tools that we have today so that they're socially networked, they're web enabled, they're platform agnostic. Uh, and so they frankly match what we're seeing coming from our students because one of the big challenges that we have uh, is actually to keep up with our students in terms of the future they want to see. They're driving us forward. <music>